Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a fall clothing try on haul and today's video is in collaboration with HotMiamiStyles.com which I have worked with them before in the past and you guys really seem to like those videos so here we are again doing another one for the fall. As always, I will be sure to link down below all the pieces that I'm going to show you today and I'll be sure to put the sizes down below as well but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this try on haul video. So I have everything just thrown over here in a pile right next to me. I'm going in no particular order. Actually, I am going to go in a particular order for the first piece. This piece is one of my favorites, actually. It's probably the most comfortable um, item in this whole haul. I really, really liked it. It almost felt like pajamas, like I didn't want to take it off. Um, and it's also just really, really cute. So it is a two-piece set with a really pretty floral pattern with a black background. And this is the bottom. These are high-waisted pants with a kind of like a wide leg at the bottom. And these are, once again, so, so comfortable. They also have a nice amount of stretch to them. Um, I got this set in a size small, by the way. And then the top is this, like, this is like all undone right now, but it's a tie in the front top with this kind of like bell sleeve but it's not all the way um it's not like a long sleeve all the way down to your wrist it kind of gives me like spring vibes a little bit but due to the fact that it's like a longer sleeve and a pant bottom i feel that it is also fall appropriate especially if you don't live in a too cold of climate like i live in florida so it's not really that cold here right now so yeah i really really like that one and you'll notice that when I try that one on, uh, you'll see that I'm like this this piece, and I think the next piece I tried on tried on outside. I cannot talk. I'm sorry. It's just really late. It's always late when I do these videos. I kind of plan to do these earlier in the day, but it never works out, and I always end up filming them at night when I have to go to bed and get up for work the next day. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's why my mind is like shutting down right now. But you'll notice that that piece and then this next piece I tried on outside and it started raining so the weather wasn't really cooperating with me so I had to come inside which I don't really like doing the try on part inside I just for some reason I really like doing it outdoors. I haven't really picked the perfect spot to film these outside yet because I did move. I bought a house like some of you may know if you follow me on any sort of social media like Instagram or Snapchat. Um, which I'll link those below and I'll also put those on the screen. But um, I haven't found the perfect spot yet for filming outside, so I'm working on that. But this is the next one, so it is a very, very pretty fall appropriate color. I would describe this as like a burnt pumpkin color. I don't know what they called it on the website. I think they may, may have called it caramel or something like that. But it's definitely fall appropriate and it's a knit sweater dress. And it is ribbed, has this keyhole cut out right here with this little bunching at the bust area. But it's not really short, which I like. And it's also very, very stretchy. The fabric is very nice. It's a really thick, um, high quality, like heavy fabric. And will definitely keep you warm, like if you wanted to go out and wear a dress, still look really cute, but not have something on that's so thin, I think it would definitely be appropriate for that. And this one I did get in a size small. The next dress, I don't think I realized, but it's pretty much the same exact color fabric. Um, the ribbing is a little bit different. I don't know if you can tell here, but it's a lot thicker um, than this one. So they're both ribbed, but one is like a thicker, wider, fatter rib design. And it still has that nice, thick, um, stretchy, like not really nice fabric. This one is a longer dress. This is like kind of maxi length. It comes like right above my ankle, I think. And it's long sleeve and then it has this V cut like in the front and in the back. I think this is a really nice like staple dress to have for the fall time just due to the color of it and the thickness of the fabric and the length being that it's long sleeve and it's a longer length as well. So yeah, and this one I did get in a size small. The next piece is kind of different. I've never really hauled something like this before nor do I own anything like this. But this is a two-piece pantsuit, so it comes with a suit 
jacket that looks like this. Um, it has these gold buttons on the front and also on the sleeve as well. The fabric on this one is very thick and very warm. I was actually getting really hot with this on. So I would definitely say this is like a cooler weather um, pantsuit. So it's really nice if you want to dress up, if you're going to an event, um, maybe like a funeral. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going to wear it at. Um, honestly, I just feel like everyone should have a pantsuit and I didn't have one. So there you go. And then these are the tops. They're just like these trousers, which are high-waisted. And they do have um, belt loops so you can fit like a thin belt if you wanted to. And then the bottom is kind of like a, it's not skinny, but it's not wide. Like, it's kind of on the skinnier side, but it's not super tight. And that one I did get in a size small. The next item is a pair of jeans. I feel like jeans are definitely fall staple. And this one, the color of it, I really thought was cute. It's in a mauve color. These are kind of, I would say these are like mid-rise. They aren't high. They're definitely below the belly button. Um, but I really like the distressing on the legs. They do have a nice stretch. Honestly, these ones were quite too small for me. I ended up getting these in a size 3 because they were sold out of my normal size, which is a size 5. And I figured because they were, had a lot of stretch to them they that I could get into the 3, but I could get into the 3, but it was like a struggle. Kind of had to hold my breath. Kind of like couldn't wait to get them off. Um, so definitely way too tight. I probably should have just sized up to the 7 actually because I've done that before with them and the 7 was good. I don't know why I picked the 3. I should have went with the 7. But anyway, um, I still think they're very, very cute. They just are definitely too small for me. I haven't been a size 3 since like ninth grade, so yeah. There's that. Um, and then the next couple pieces are tops. So this is the first one that I'm going to show you. It is like a lacy knit fabric. So the sleeves are a bell sleeve, kind of like the first top that I showed you. And actually the next top is like a bell sleeve too. And I just think this is really cute. I actually don't own anything with this type of bell sleeve to it. So on this part, it actually is like multi-layered it has like this top piece and then the bottom with this like mesh so I thought that was really like visually interesting this one I did get in a size small this is very very pretty very beautiful but it is not the most comfortable it's kind of scratchy and it just doesn't feel the most comfortable but um I'm definitely going to wear it because it is so cute. So things that are cute are always are not always going to be the most comfortable. So it's kind of like a sacrifice. Pain is beauty or beauty is pain. One of those. So yeah. But definitely very cute and I do like it. And then the next top, this is my, one of my favorite, I think this is my favorite thing in this whole haul. So this is a bodysuit, long sleeve. It's a mock neck, so not quite as high as like a turtleneck. It has this lace up on the sleeve with this gold grommet, grommets, and then a tie here so you can adjust the, um, that if you want it to, the, uh, the lace. And then the sleeve is also another bell sleeve. This is a really nice, heavy, thick material similar to the sweater dresses that I showed you. And I really like that the bottom is a thong. That's always like that. You always get extra points if you add a thong to the bodysuit because that just... You don't want those panty lines. And the next top, I've actually hauled, I, I realized this after getting it, um, a very similar top to this one. I think that was in my last haul with them. And the other one was a little bit different though. It was like um, like strap up, like halterish, and it kind of crisscrossed in the back. This is more like a bralette top. I think that's the right word. But it's just a normal like strap, which is adjustable and it's in this sheer white lacy fabric with the lining uh, on the cups which is nice so you don't have to wear a bra with it it does have a little bit of like thin padding as well so um, that's nice too um, the other thing I forgot to mention I never I don't think I've ever mentioned it but they do send you these little tote bags with with every order which I think is really nice I'm starting to have like a little collection now and these are always like they always come in handy for me so I really appreciate that they they send those that's a really cute touch and then the last two things that I'm going to show you are shoes um, so I'll start off with the ones on top I had them stacked on top of each other so these were the ones that I was most excited for 
and you're gonna see why in a second so let me grab it and here they are they are these rhinestone out boots with this chunky heel with the pointed toe and I absolutely love these these of course are very reminiscent of the very popular YSL boots um, the YSL ones are a lot higher they come like to the knee I believe and these are kind of like calf length um, but they're very cute they're kind of like inspired I don't I don't think I would want anything that's trying to be that boot exactly because I don't really like knockoff type things but I like that it's kind of in that same style kind of like inspired if you will and I just love 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 how sparkly these are and how the light hits them they are just so so cute I don't even think you'll be able to see like how sparkly and beautiful these are on camera I will say I was kind of disappointed because I love the boots so much but they do run small I would say they probably run at least a whole size too small um, I wear a size 9 these are a size 9 they feel like an 8 so unfortunately I won't be able to wear these unless I can figure out a way to stretch them a whole size bigger which I don't really think there is um, so I'll probably end up like just selling these maybe on my Poshmark or something like that. But I definitely love them. Like I do recommend them. I just recommend you go get like a whole size up than you normally do because they are very, very cute. What I thought was another nice touch with the boot is they give you these little replacement um, heels just in case the heel gets damaged. You get two of those. And then there's a few rhinestones in there as well. So just in case a rhinestone or two or three come off, you can just glue another one back on. The next shoe is another boot. This one is a thigh-high boot. Um, it has a pointy toe just like the previous ones, but the heel on this is a stiletto heel. And these are kind of like that sock sock boot style that were really popular like last season and I actually saw these uh, in a few places um, last season and I really liked them and I wanted to get them but I just never never did but they are black obviously and then they have this these little lines parallel lines going across the top which kind of gives it like a sporty feel and I really like that this part of the boot is very stretchy so it can fit a lot of different sizes of legs. I know sometimes it can be an issue if you have really wide legs or even really small legs of certain boots like this, like knee-high boots or thigh-high boots fitting you. So these ones, I like that they can, you know, kind of adapt to all different sizes. These also were unfortunately too small for me. I got these in a size 9 which is my normal size and these almost feel like more than a whole size too small. This kind of felt like I was trying to put on like a size 7 or something. That's how small they were. So I don't really know what was up with that because the shoes that I've gotten in the past from them have always um, fit true to size and these two are not even from like these this one and this one are not even the same brand of shoe so I don't know what what's up with that I almost started to think maybe my foot got big or something but then I was trying on some of my other shoes as well and have been wearing of course my other shoes just fine so obviously my foot wasn't big it's just kind of I think maybe a fluke um, with the sizing on these two so if you're going to get these, again, I would size up at least a whole size um, larger than you normally wear. Other than that, the shoe is very, very cute. Like I said, I had actually been eyeing these last year as well. Um, so that's just unfortunate that I won't be able to wear those, but they are cute and I'm glad I can give you the insight to let you know as far as how that sizing works if you did want to order. I um, definitely recommend um, these, like definitely recommend these. I would just say size up and I think you'll be fine on those because those are real, real, real cute. You cannot pass those up. So that was everything that I have to show you in this try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, I do have a quick question for you guys. Um, several weeks ago, I did film a video on the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna full face of first impressions like all the products she had in my mind. I purchased everything. Um, I did a full video on it. I just kind of got discouraged because a lot of things went wrong in that video including me forgetting to like blend contour for like half the video. So um, I just kind of got discouraged when editing it, editing it. But if you guys are interested in seeing it, I'll definitely finish editing it and upload it so you guys can see it. I just don't know if it's like 
too late at this point being that it came out so long ago and there's been like thousands of videos um, but just let me know but yeah that's it for this video so until next time I'll see you guys in my next one